What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of Pitchless.com, former college pitcher, all that fun stuff. And what we do here is we watch pitchers and we break down their at-bats. And who else to watch than George Kirby, who went yesterday, had a fantastic outing against the Tampa Bay Rays. Seven strikeouts, six innings. And we're going to watch him today. How are we going to feel about George Kirby? There's so much hype right now about this brand new pitcher. I mean, you guys know me. I, I love just getting super excited about these guys. And I'm going to tell you really quickly what you're going to be seeing. You're going to see a lot of fastballs up in the zone, which I generally like. It's coming in around, you know, early on. It's around 97. I think we saw it at 98. But it settled down as the start went on to about 94, 95. And I think that's kind of where Kirby is going to be living, around 95 or so. But there's a lot of intent here. And he lives around the zone very effectively. He's always had high, um, well, low walk rates, I should say. Um, and he pairs that with a with a cutter is what I want to say. It is a slider, I guess. It's around 90 miles per hour. It's a tight cutter though. If you remember talking about Logan Gilbert, it's a smaller uh, it's a smaller break pitch than your typical slider. It's not very loopy, which you see around like 86, 87. Now his is one that goes a little bit and he pairs them together um, with, with that heater. Uh, there is a changeup that kind of just went like, around a bit <laughs> he's off obviously trying to get it all down here but it wasn't very consistent and sometimes you see the curveball try and come in as well but it really this is a game of fastball 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 and hopefully getting that slider in there for strikes or um maybe getting a whiff or two so we're gonna jump into it now and there it is 98 coming out hot it's an mlb debut this is what you typically see you see the first inning of higher velocity you see this off in the beginning of the year. We talked about Tyler McGill going 97, 98, 99 in the first two starts and then kind of falling down to 94. Um, but there's 98 miles per hour from George Kirby. And look at him. There, there, look at the young guy. Look at him. He's so young. Look at this. Oh, you're a major league ba baseball player. You know that? Isn't that kind of crazy? Okay, just throw a fastball over the plate. That's all you need to do. Yeah, that's at 98. That's not going to work. That's not it. Okay, so there's there it is. There's the breaker, and that's kind of cool. I mean, in an MLB debut at 2-0, um, Kirby is someone who apparently has a four-pitch mix and can throw all of them for strikes. You really only see two um, in the fastball and the slider in this. But that's the look of it. And at 2-0, in an MLB debut, if I'm Brandon Lau, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting fastball. The typical understanding of an MLB debut is establish your fastball, throw strikes with that, and once you have that, then we can expand to the secondary stuff. To see in the first batter, 2-0, throw a slider, which I think is a really good call on the pitch on the catcher because, hey, you're not finding your release point on your fastball, so let's try something else to get you back into the groove of the fastball. And as far as the pitch movement goes, this is not very aggressive. I mean, this is just a little dip, right? This feels like a cutter in so many ways. And it's why, like, if this were a true slider, there's no way Brandon Lau is, is going to, you know, hit this at all. Um, because he does get contact on that and like he's so selling out for a heater. I think that's kind of an indication of what this pitch is like, right? And he tries to throw a fastball again and he misses up and away. And for those that are wondering, man, he keeps missing, you know, his fastballs are coming out over here. Uh, that's generally because the he's so excited and amped. He's leading too quickly with that front half. And that means his arm is lagging behind. So then the release point is too far to the right. And it's not closer toward uh, the plate. Uh, so you're going to see that again here. And then a 3-1. Let's see what we get. Probably a fastball. Oh, another cutter. This one's coming a little bit farther in. And I think, I think Lau is, that's interesting. A foul back like this um, kind of indicates that he's under it. Yeah. Which is kind of strange considering it's the cutter. Uh, huh. Maybe he's expecting it to have a little bit different move. Maybe it's a different shape of it instead of coming... Uh, down as it did before comes a little bit more horizontal drop I mean it's not as you can see it's not really an aggressive pitch so at 3-2 the only pitch that Kirby's been able to throw with any effectiveness in this at bat some three terrible fastballs would be the the cutter so that's got to be what you go with and he does and that's a good one and that one that one is an aggressive more much more of an aggressive break right uh, coming out of the hand no I don't want that at all I uh, it is looking like it's going to be that fastball that, you know, lands like around here at this point. 
and then it breaks away from that right and comes down to there and that's a way 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 better one that one's that one's a proper like okay break as opposed to like the little one here and the little guy there right so good job at three two and that's why you get that swing i uh, on a full count so good stuff from kirby i mean it's you know we haven't really seen much of him he's one at bat this is not the man that defines it but at least we got a good good look at the at the the breaking ball right the secondary pitch and that's a cutter again <laughs> so so yeah the only pitch that's working right now is the cutter and in seven pitches he's thrown four cutters i'm sorry sliders they're gonna call them sliders um this is not a good one this is this is very much of just like I think what happened here is that Franco wasn't really thinking of, hey, I'm going to swing at a heater or something. It was just like, oh, this is just there for me to swing at. That's that's not a good pitch. And the thing is, too, normally when you have a secondary pitch like this, if you're throwing it in an oh no, oh count, um, think of it like a first pitch curveball that I talked about with free real estate, right? The reason that guys don't swing at it is because they recognize it and they think, oh, this is going to move too much more than I kind of was expecting. So I'm good. With this cutter, it doesn't have such aggressive movement that, yeah, you can just kind of make a very small adjustment, push it off into left, and there you go. You got a hit. And I think that's going to be something we're going to see a decent amount from George Kirby. Um, there's another slider. Man, that's eight pitches, and six or five of them have been sliders. And there's the fastball 97. It just blew by Randy Rosarina. I mean, this is 97. He was geared up for it, and he's underneath it. And that tells me you have a little bit of ride there on on, on, uh, on Gil. Oh, my God. I want to call him Gilbert. Really, I get so many visions of Logan Gilbert with George Curry because it is that really good fastball without a major break on a slider. But, uh, yeah, Kirby has a lot of good ride on that fastball. We're seeing it now as he finally threw a strike on it. Bad slider. Just go back now. He's throwing more sliders. This is this is kind of wild. He's throwing four fastballs in eleven pitches. Like you normally don't see that, especially for a guy that is a fastball focused guy. But he threw one for a strike before. Just throw it. Just throw it by him. There you go. Ninety six again. And these are very weird swings from Rosarena. I gotta say, like he's, you know, he's like ex overextending on a three one pitch like this. And this is just a fastball. Like is he just cheating inside for some reason? I don't know. It's kind of weird, especially with ones that are on the plate like that. Yeah, just throw it past him. And now he's, ha. oh, man, Orozarena got in his head. That that whole at bat, I think Orozarena was looking, like, inside and middle. And you can kind of see those awkward swings away. And so he's been, okay, away, away, away. And then this one, was this the intent to go inside? I mean, it's just like throw a strike, kid. It's a 3-2 count. <laughs> uh, happened to go inside, and Randy is, like, hung up. Like, that's not a two-seamer that he's, or, a like, a cut that comes back in. Like, he's just so looking on the outside portion of the plate that uh, he goes, oh, wait, is that a strike? I'm like, my, my calibration for the strike zone is all messed up now. And he's like, I think that is a strike, but I wasn't ready for it. I got to foul it off or something. And no. Very weird at bat from Rosarena, I got to say. And by the way, all those fastballs were YM lock. That is, like, middle location height. Not ideal. Like, you want that a little bit higher. You want that. Elevated a touch more. But, I mean, that, that last fastball is totally fine. Uh, there is a challenge uh, to a lefty, and, and Choi was ready for it. He was tr looking for that fastball. Got in the upper quadrant. Yeah, that looks good to me. Um, let's see here. Oh, one another fastball, 97. And I think, like, this is kind of – look, if I'm George Kirby, you just got such a three whiffs on the fastball to Randy Rosarena right now. Like, bam, bam, bam. Throw, just throw it in the zone, kid. You know, he just didn't out twice to Choi two more whiffs that's five whiffs on his last five fastballs <laughs> i mean that's really good um it is it does make me think a little bit about i uh, like how i talk about pitches a lot of high swing strike rates oh man he had 13 whiffs on his fastball yesterday seeing five and i think it's actually going to be six here in two batters does weigh it weird you know it it, it does sway the uh the result a little bit um, he goes to the fastball again. Of course, he's killing it with it. I throw another one. Who cares? Just throw a good one. Yeah. There it is at 98. I mean, that's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, I and, and that's that's kind of a good glimpse uh, of George Kirby's, like, that's his fastball. That's what he does. I, I, I'm i not so enthralled 
um, because of the the lack of secondary gr potential growth at this moment. Does that make sense? Like I, I'm not I'm not a huge fan. There's no big secondary that I get excited about. I'm really happy that Kirby was throwing 97, 98 in this inning. It wasn't what it was later on in the game. And actually, I'm going to jump to one of those innings because why not? Let's keep it going. So I'm just going to go to the fifth. I don't even remember what happened in this one. But there he's trying to get free real estate. And I think that is a pitch that probably will be better for George Kirby. Um, but that he didn't have that one. Um, there's a fastball. And that's coming in at 94 now, not 97, 98, right? Let's see the result of this. 94 again. This is the fifth inning. He's around 55 pitches or so. Um, okay, grooves one in, 3-0. Mejia's like, I'm Francisco Mejia. Yes, I'm not going to swing at a 3-0 pitch. Uh, <laughs> so at 3-1 now, do you throw another fastball? And Okay, well, why, why aren't you th throwing a swing at the 3-1-95 down the middle then, Mejia? Like, what else are you looking for? <laughs> Look, I guess a 3-0-1, Mejia. Right, 3-0, it's like, okay, fine. But 3-1? This is the... I don't know. I don't know. When do you throw a 3-2? Just throw another fastball. He doesn't want to swing. Oh, and you... S what? What? You don't swing at the ones down the middle, but you swing at that one? I mean, I know. 3-2, too close to take. I get it. But, like, that's why it's so important to have that mentality. You know, here you are in a 3-1 count. If you're a hitter, you have to have the mentality, okay... I'm looking for one pitch and one pitch alone after just taking a 3-0 fastball down the middle. It's it should be a fastball. It should just should be a fastball, especially from George Kirby. You take that one. Now at 3-2, especially considering that you just looked at two fastballs down the middle, you're gonna see another fastball, especially at the beginning of the inning. That's Kirby's best pitch. And you get one. This you should know not to, to swing at that one. That one's clearly out of the zone the entire time, and you ground out. It's not it. Not it. Sorry. Uh, Kirby got away with that one. This one, too, he got very fortunate that this backup slider um, that is not supposed to be there, that the umpire gave him this call, especially with how much it, you know, comes back over for the uh, for the glove. But he's right in front of him, and he gave it to him. He didn't even catch it. Uh, so, fine. You're going to throw the fastball away. Sure. You're going to miss with that. That's a hanging one. And, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's not a good... This isn't a good pitch. He's trying to get this. He's trying to get this down here. You know, that's the goal of these cutters. We don't see that. We see a lot of them hang over here, come down here, you know, like do that. We don't really see Kirby live there, right? And once again, he misses this. This is just kind of a hang city from Margot. And he still doesn't even give it that much of a ride. I mean, it is a little bit of a scorcher, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. That's not good. Um, fastball just gets the edge. All right. But again, 95, right? It's not the 97, 98 from the first inning. 93. Um, oh, Brett Phillips. Man, what do you, how'd you miss that? I don't know. I don't know. Can I throw it again? Yeah, you throw it again. 95. Man, Brett, how are you missing that? I mean, maybe, again, this could be an indication of just Kirby's fastball is that good. It's really deceptive and it's hard to hit. I kind of think it's like skeptical in that way. That, that's my interpretation of it. That makes sense. Ninety-four elevated, good. You're being a little aggressive. It, it, you get more, you get more break uh, when like it goes up in the zone, right? Like keep in mind, the pitches act differently. This is a, there's a really good Juan Soto interview talking about Max Fried and how his pitches are different in different locations. You know, Saris did a fantastic article um, about you know sliders being different based on the locations. Like, the movement of it makes a lot of sense. Same thing with fastballs. You're not going to get the same ride at the top of the zone as you are in the bottom of the zone with the fastball. So, they do better up. Uh, this is a really nice pitch from Kirby. This is 0-1, and that's a change that falls off the table. I mean, this is this is going to go whoop like that. It, it's uh, I, I'm excited to watch this one slow motion with you. See, here it is. It's coming up to the top at the bottom of the zone, and it just dies. Hey, I got it right. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Uh, and if he can do that consistently, I think that's the only whiff he gets the entire game on the changeup. It's just not something that we saw in this one. That has more potential to me than the slider. The slider, to me, you really got to change the movement profile for me to get excited about it. And it acts more as a number three pitch, right? The number three pitch to me 
is one that you confidently throw for strikes when you need one. Number two should be that, oh, hey, I'm going to get you out with this. This is like, this is my boy. This is my weapon. Uh, that changeup, if it looks like that with any consistency, which if it wasn't, it was really just that one, uh, can be that weapon, especially if they're leaning on that fast plate, knows that he has that heater, and all of a sudden, like, 10 miles per hour slower? Are you kidding? Uh, that that could be the, the path to more consistency, I think, from Kirby. And once again... I mean, he gets the he gets a whiff on the fastball. It's a Taylor Wall swinging through to 96, and that's cool. And I think what I just showed you was pretty much all his fastball whiffs of the day. But these are good hitters for the most part, swinging through a fastball. And like I can say whatever I want about 96 or location and stuff. Guys missing, you know, the the, the best indication is going to be the batters, and the batters couldn't hit it. So that's exciting to me. And again, why I, I paired him up with Logan Gilbert earlier on. Because Logan Gilbert has a fastball that uh, that he lives by, that does everything for him. And Kirby looks like it's the same. We did see in spring that he allows some hard contact on those fastballs. And actually inside this game, he allowed a good amount of hits on heat on hitter, on heaters. <laughs> he allowed hits on heaters. Um, and I don't think that's going to change. Same thing with the kind of that, that cutter kind of you know hanging up in the zone so i think we're going to see some really fun starts kind of like this one and we're also going to see some bad ones uh as long as he doesn't develop something that is a legitimate um whiff option uh, to pair with that heater but it's good i mean he's good because of that fastball is a very high floor just like i uh, logan gilbert and i'm excited to see him develop and get more time on the mound and maybe we see something completely different maybe we see curveballs more so early in counts for strikes and free real estate. We see changeups more aggressively thrown. Maybe that's what we get from Kirby moving forward. But it was an exciting debut, and I was super happy to uh, be able to watch him today. But that's going to do it for this edition of this Pitch Video Breakdown. As always, join me on Twitch, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every single weekday morning. And, of course, go to pitchwells.com where you can find all of my articles. I do, like, four articles every single day, including my top 100 rankings, which come out every single Monday. So go check that out. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babips be low. In your strikeout time.